Hello, welcome again to Bucks County Beer Reviews. Thanks for checking in. Today we're going to do one that came from a variety pack. A Three Floyds variety pack. An excellent variety pack. Uh, this one um, costs $17.99. Uh, it's a 12 pack. It has zombie dust in it and zombie ice. Two that I really like. I've re reviewed them in the past. Really awesome beers. And it has an oatmeal stout called Back Masking. And it has the one I'm going to review tonight. It's called Lunar Throne. It's a hazy IPA. Before I bought these variety packs, I've had a couple of them now. I've never had this one. Never even really noticed it before. Uh, Lunar Throne. It has a guy in a spacesuit sitting on a throne on the moon, I guess. Uh, Hazy India Pale Ale, 7.3% ABV, packaged on September 26. All right, October, November, three months old. And Three Floyds is in Munster, Indiana. And check this out. Like I said, I bought one of these. Uh, I just Mostly bought it for drinking beers. I love the zombie dust. I love the zombie ice. I wanted some, you know, everyday drinkers. And they had two in here that I've never had. And now I've had all of them, and I know that they're all very good. Three Floyds doesn't disappoint. So we're going to review Lunar Throne. I'm going to review Back Masking soon. And like I said, the other two are really couple of my favorites sometimes you get I get asked uh, what is my go-to I don't really have a go-to because I'm always changing and but I stopped briefly uh, over the past month and three Floyds has been my go-to for the past month but that's gonna change even though I love this um, it's just always changing I recommend this Variety pack, if you can see it, if you can find it in your store. Uh, all four beers are great. Here we go. Lunar Throne Hazy IPA. And I forgot to mention I have another new glass here, but I'll show it to you. I don't know if you can read it, but it says, Stolen from Valley Craft Ales. Sent down from my buddy in Vermont, Chris. Along with the glass I used in the last video. Oh, it smells very tropical, citrusy. Really nice aroma. <clears throat> and what really surprised me, uh, I bought this variety pack the first time. Expecting to love the two beers that I've had. The zombie ice and the zombie dust. And, you know, hazies really aren't, haven't been my thing. You know, I like them, but I don't love them. Sometimes I love them, but it's rare. And by the time I went back and bought the second variety pack, I was looking forward to the hazy more than the others. So, see, it is hazy. It's nice looking beer, good head, foamy, not going away. Really nice aroma. It smells wonderful. So I'm kind of coming around on the hazy IPAs when they're done right. If they're just citrus bombs and nothing else, I don't like them too much. Look at that pillow we had. $17.99 for the variety pack comes to $1.50 per beer. All right, cheers. Smooth and delicious. <clears throat> Citrusy, uh, average sweetness for a hazy IPA. Nothing too radical there. The bitterness is low to moderate. You know what I did? Oh, here. I forgot. <laughs> I almost forgot my notes. 
Lunar Throne, 7.3%. Uh, it gets a 3.83 on untapped with 28.57. I don't have the IBUs. It doesn't say on the can. But I would say probably... Let me have one more taste here. Forty to fifty, probably no more than that. And you got um, a little bit of pine, grapefruit, very smooth. Just a delight to drink. Seven point three percent, not a hint of alcohol in the taste. Uh, goes down super easy. Kind of a dangerous beer, really. And that's about it. Uh, 3.83 on untapped, that's too low. This might be one of the, for the price, $1.50 per can right now ranks as one of my best hazy IPAs. Yeah, some of them ones from like other half that are, you get a pint can and you might pay $6 for it are, you know, um, more sophisticated than this there's more to it but this one is super enjoyable and for a dollar fifty a can I don't think it can be beat I recommend try it buy this variety pack <coughs> on the end it looks like that all right uh, what did I say I'm going to give it a four point Five, and for the value, a dollar fifty per can, it gets a five. But overall, I'm going to give it a four point five. All right, beer can time. Brock Lager. <coughs> Excuse me. Hall and Woodhouse Limited, established 1777. Brewed and canned by Hall and Woodhouse in Blandford, Dorset, England. Davenport's, Davenport's Celebration Bitter. Open from the bottom. Uh, brewed and canned in the UK by Davenport's Birmingham. Watney's Export Gold Strong Ale. Open from the bottom. Brewed and can in Great Britain for Watney Man, Mort Lake Brewery in London. One more. Whitbread Forest Brown Ale. Open from the bottom. Uh, brewed and can by Whitbread and Company, London, England. All right, that's going to do it. Okay, that's going to do it. Lunar Throne, excellent. Excellent hazy IPA. Oh, love it. Catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.